In the last few months, we've heard nothing but about how horrible Syria is and how they have been mindlessly brutal towards its population. The West was not only the one speaking so ill of Syria and Assad. The Arab League was also quite vocal in their condemnation of the situation in the country. Endless stories of violence against the population have been sent to us depicting a particular situation. That image is that Assad is just a merciless slaughter, his own people killing them for his own benefit. However, not all is, the, is as it appears to be. An Arab League report from January 27 shows the situation in Syria has been mischaracterized. The report shows that at the beginning, the Syrian government was cooperating. The mission, i.e. the Arab League investigative team, noted that the government strived to help it succeed in its task and remove any barriers that might stand in its way. The government also facilitated meetings with all parties. No restrictions were placed on the movement of the mission and its ability to interview Syrian citizens, but those who opposed the government and those loyalty to it. The report also shows that the media greatly exaggerated the violence. The mission noted that many parties falsely reported that explosions or violence had occurred in several locations. When the observers went to those locations, they found that those reports were unfounded. The mission also noted that according to teams in the field, the media exaggerated the number of incidents and the number of persons killed in incidents and protests in certain towns. Since it began its work, the mission has been the target of a vicious media campaign. Some media outlets have published unfounded statements, which they attributed to the head of the mission. They have also grossly exaggerated events, thereby distorting the truth. Such contrived reports have helped to increase tensions among the Syrian people and undermine the observer's work. The report also shows that while both sides are committing acts of violence, much of it is coming from the rebels against the government. In Homs or Dara, the mission observed armed groups committing acts of violence against government forces, resulting in death and injury among their ranks. In certain situations, government forces responded to attacks against their personnel with force. The observers noted that some of the armed groups were using flares and armor-piercing projectiles. In Homs, Ilib, Hama, the observer mission witnessed acts of violence being committed against the government forces and civilians have resulted in several deaths and injuries. Examples of those acts include the bombing of a civilian bus, killing eight persons and injuring others including women and children, and the bombing of a train carrying diesel oil. In another incident in Homs, the police bus was blown up, killing two police officers, a fuel pipeline, and some small bridges were also bombed. Recently, there have been incidents that could widen the gap and increase bitterness between the parties. These incidents have grave consequences and lead to the loss of life and property. Such incidents include the bombing of buildings, trains carrying fuel, vehicles carrying diesel oil, and explosions targeting police members of the media and fuel pipelines. Some of the attacks have been carried out by the Free Syrian Army, the main opposition group, and some other by other armed opposition groups. It's obvious what is happening here. The facts about what is happening on the ground in Syria is being covered up. The Arab League report is being covered up by the Arab League and the corporate media. The image that Assad is an evil man who is slaughtering his people out of some infinite boundless cruelty was not backed up by this report. While the elite don't get the message they want, they silence anyone who disagrees and buries anything that contradicts their wishes. The push for war in the country is as clear as day. Even the wealthy in the Arab world are chomping at the bit to get a share of the profits. Before this report, I had not yet taken sides on this issue. Now. After this report, I am leaning towards Assad in this conflict. Already, the Western-made fictional Al-Qaeda has sworn an allegiance to the rebels, and the U.S. is suspected to be funneling weapons to the rebels. That is certainly enough for me to side against them.